Okay, so I didn't struggle that much, to be honest. <laughs> As Ami did. Hi, we are Sagan and Ami. This is going to be a very special video for us. In this video, we are taking you back to the time when we came to New Zealand. As you know, we live in Auckland and we love hanging out in Auckland CBD, short for Central Business District. We wanted to take you with us to show you some beautiful places in Auckland City Centre and wanted to share some of our stories. Just a disclaimer though, this is going to be a very chatty video. We were so excited to share that we didn't even realize how much we have talked. All right, I will leave you to it. Let's go. Welcome to Auckland CBD. This is our favorite place. And in this video, we wanted to take you with us in the favorite part of the city where we live in. This is called Queen Street. Yes, this particular part of the city is very special to me and Sagar. So we thought we would um, tell you a bit about us um, story of us, story of how we started um, our lives together in New Zealand and we'll show you around as well. So we're gonna cover viaduct and some of the places that are special to us and yeah we'll take you along. Okay so where are we? Okay so we are at the viaduct. Um, this is the place where you should come if you want to enjoy the nightlife. There are super cool restaurants, um, very beautiful view and yes it's full of people a, look at the boat if you just have one night um you should definitely come to viaduct and that's where we also brought uh one of our very closest friends um a3 and Umbert. shout out to them by the way because they shared a very cute pic of their uh, living room where they were watching our video um so thank you so much you guys and yeah so this is where we brought them as well and i'll just up upload my photo somewhere around here <laughs> oh and this is the the place where um, I had my first uh, Christmas party yes. uh, with my all work colleagues and of course Ami as well so, uh, we just wanted to go because it's gonna be a very random video so we <laughs> feel like having a beer so, now so uh, let's, let's go, go and have some beer Okay, today's vlog will be very random <laughs> because um, we are just gonna enjoy Auckland CBD and at the same time we are gonna tell you about our journey in Auckland. Sounds good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we both came um, to Auckland five years ago in 2016. Yes, she came in February 2016 and I came in June 2016. Yeah, and at that time I was studying in AUT, which is in the city, and he was on work, no, he was on job search either, so he had to find a job in nine months time. We both stayed in Manukau and my brother's place for a very short period of time, and then I moved to Mount Eden. I found a job in 2016. Um, it is far away from Auckland City, so I had to uh, rent a place near to that job. I was staying in Drury, and let's take you to the Drury then. I just want to show you where I used to live. Um, it's a pretty, if you look at it, it's, it's like a very little town. So we have so many memories in this um, place. One day, um, we just driving past this main road and we noticed that there like the stars were visible there were so many we just drove into the street and it's like there is not much of a traffic and we just stopped the car and looked outside and oh my god we literally could see the galaxy it's the sky was crystal clear and because i stayed um uh, far away from the city yeah. there, was, there was no i think uh, light pollution and the second memory which is the best one like I said we were broke so we weren't like going into the city to have a good time and also like with Auckland yeah drink and drive is a big thing so you can't can, cannot 
drink and drive. So I was I secured a job um, in South Island. New Zealand's got two islands, North Island and South Island. At the moment we are in North Island. I had secured a job in South Island. So I was gonna move um, from Auckland to Greymouth. And uh, we just started the relationship. So we were a bit nervous and... I know she was gonna stay in Greymouth. Yes, she was gonna stay in South Island, but still, I mean, we want to celebrate. Where he used to stay um, was just like a walking distance to a pub uh, in this town. Yeah. So we just went to the pub uh, for like four or five hours. We were drunk as. And then yeah, we we just had the best time. Best time. Night. Now back to Mount Eden where she used to stay. Now we are in Mount Eden. This is the best suburb I have ever lived in. I really enjoyed my time because the city was just like five kilometers away, so it was very easy. Public transport was good. I used to catch buses all the time. It was so convenient and there is so much to do around here. It's like very old suburb as well. They've got the Victorian style houses and stuff like that. So, but obviously it's one of the posh yeah, it's... ones. <laughs> Remember when uh, when I told you that uh, we used to go back and forth uh, to Drury, to Mount Eden, Mount Eden to Drury. So one, I still remember one day when she came to, uh, came to Drury. <laughs> So, and then uh, she has to uh, uh, leave early yeah. uh, in the morning, like yeah. says around, I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe 5.36. Yeah, yeah, because it, it I had a job and I had to be there by 9 something and it was in the city. Yeah, so it, it was very early. Anyway, uh, so she was going to go to uh, her house first, which is in Mount Hidden, yeah. but the thing is she forgot her keys. <laughs> So, and uh, she didn't know, and uh, her cell phone was, uh, I don't know, your cell, I, I, I tried to call you, but I don't know, phone, yeah, I, I didn't maybe, answer or something because I was driving, and yeah. I just learned to drive here, yeah. so I was like not using my cell phone at all, which was a good thing. <laughs> so, what I had to do, uh, in the morning at 6 o'clock, I had to woke up, okay, and I had to come all the way from Drury to Mount Eden. No, but that is a catch. So, I realized when I reached to from Drury to Papakura, I immediately realized that I forgot my keys. So I, oh, I yes. started calling him, yes. but he didn't answer. So yes. I went to Drury. Uh, he used to rent a, a room in a big house. So the owners were staying with him. So I jumped the fence and then I went up to his room. I knocked on his window to let me in, but he wasn't well, I there. wasn't there because <laughs> Oh, where, where was I? I was in Mount Eden, uh, in front of her house. <laughs> so she was, she was in uh, Drury, in at my house, and I was in Mount Eden, at her house. So, and we never know. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what happened with her cell phones, but yeah. I, I'm not sure. Something was very wrong there. And they had a dog. He knew me, but he still started barking because I was like tapping on the windows. And so he was confused, like, what is she doing? <laughs> and I was like, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was also sharing this uh, my place with a few other people, but it was so early in the morning. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't expect them to let me in either. I came to Mount Eden and I saw that on my like tall boy saga put my keys over there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> things I do for her. Let me just show you where we are. It's a pretty nice place. I studied journalism um, from AUT and it's it's a really tough field to get into especially if, if you are coming from a non-native uh, English speaking countries and obviously um, my English is not that great um, I, I make some grammatical mistakes um, so when it comes down to writing and especially for like a newspaper obviously they are very picky um, in terms of who higher so I had tons of rejections uh, from uh, like 
New Zealand media. So in the meantime, just to pay off my rents and other bills, I started taking up like random jobs. And like I said, I applied for MACD, KFC and those sort of um, jobs, cleaning jobs, but I, I didn't even get those. So I actually ended up applying for some very random jobs. One of the jobs um, was to take survey. So I used to come here when our borders were open. Um, many crews used to come um, and dock at this Auckland um, harbor, and people would would have like uh, five to six hours. So they would go into the city and you know buy some souvenirs and stuff like that. So we used to like grab them, stop them, and used to take survey um, for Auckland Council. But the other job, which was really which was really interesting in Auckland CBD there are so many parking spaces right uh, some of them are like um, paid parking and some of them are like for an hour or two hours and after that you have to move even the paid parking there is certain time limit and to monitor those times uh, they have like a parking warden so the parking warden's job is to monitor all the times if the car is still there after the time limit then they would you know uh, give them ticket and my job <laughs> so i was like a secret shopper my job was to see if that parking warden is doing his job or like her job properly they wouldn't give me an exact location of that parking warden they would give us like a radius that the parking warden would be around this area we had to find them and we had to present ourselves as like we have genuine questions and we are genuinely inquiring something to them and our job was to see did they know what they were doing Supporting. basically yeah so that was my job so then after having that interaction with them i used to write a report and send it to the company that i was working with so basically i used to earn 30 dollars every report that have i would submit okay so i didn't struggle that much to be honest <laughs> as Ami did I, 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 I actually, I'm sorry, but I really struggled a lot. I think a foundation of our relationship was because of that. I was struggling a lot and he was there to support me. And I guess when he came here, he was it was quite new for him. And I was here already for six months. So I, at that time, I supported him a lot. So that's basically foundation yeah, of our relationship. At that time, I didn't know much how to, I navigate, don't know, how to navigate myself, how to reach uh, from point, point A yeah. to point B. Yeah. And, and, and all, we didn't know anyone here. And to be honest, I, I was really struggling uh, talking in English as well at that time. But yeah, I didn't struggle that much. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got two jobs uh, before I got that permanent job. Yeah. Um, it was a labor job, of course. So. I don't have that interesting story to tell. And you know, one time I actually had like um, a video gig. I was in Auckland City safety awareness video. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You should watch that. She was acting and everything. She was like an actress. I put a link in the description below for you to watch it. I can't. I can't. Look at this. Can you? I get very easily. Why are you moving your face? You don't move your face. Hmm? All, your cheek is also going up. But you do like this. No. No. <laughs> 